Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I just wanted to film a February favorites video. Um, kind of just like how people do their monthly favorites, I wanted to do my monthly favorites for the month of February. Considering tomorrow is the 28th, I thought today would be the perfect day to do it. This video mainly focuses on skincare and makeup products and then I think one hair product. Some of these you guys may have seen in my skincare video. If not, I will put a link down below so you can go check the skincare video out of how I do my skincare. Otherwise, let's get into this video. I'm gonna start with makeup because there's not as many things for makeup as there is for skincare, so let's jump into makeup first. And I'm gonna start with something that you guys already have heard about in my Glossier video, if you watched it, and that is the Boy Brow. This is the Boy Brow by Glossier, and I am obsessed with this. I use this every single day, no fail, but if I'm putting like a little bit of makeup on or even a full face of makeup on, which I don't really do too much, but if I do, no matter what, I'm using my Glossier Boy Brow because this is just so perfect. I love everything about it. It gives like a natural brow, but it still gives you that bold brow at the same time. So like I have the color, I have the color brown, and um, since it's like a tinted gel, if you will, I don't know, what, it's just a brown gel, it's not a clear gel. I just, you know, brush that through my brows and then it just gives me that fullness and it gives me that, um, the hold for, since it's a gel. So I'm just completely obsessed with this. I use this all the time. Anytime I'm putting anything to my brows, it's this. Next, I want to talk about the mascara that I have been using for the past, um, I would say maybe two weeks or so. I'm not one to venture into mascaras too much because once I find one that I like, I kind of stick to it. I have really, really thin lashes and they're really short. Um, so a lot of the mascaras that people like and rant and rave about don't work for me because of the brush and the, just the mascara itself. But my friend was telling me about this one and this is the... This is my Lancome. I honestly don't know how to say what this is, but I'll show you guys so you can see. I don't know how you'd pronounce that, but this is the mascara. So I'm just gonna link everything down below just so you guys know um, all the products that I'm talking about are gonna be in the description because I don't know how to say some of the things. This mascara I just got a few weeks ago, like I said, and it works really, really well, actually. I don't remember what the claims were for the product, but um, my friend just pointed out to me at Ulta when we were at Ulta one day and it looked really cool and she was like, this is supposed to be really good. So then I honestly just grabbed it. <laughs> I tested it, but <laughs> and it worked pretty good, but I, it was kind of like a fail of a test because I had mascara on already from the day. So then I just put like one tiny coat on over that. So it wasn't like a true test, but even with that, it worked out pretty good. So I decided to try this out. I got the mini size. So this was $12, I believe, compared to I think 25 for the full size. And I wanted to get the mini size so I could test it out, see if I really like it, and then if I do really like it, I'll get the full size. This is something that I will be buying the full size of, and I've only been using it for two weeks, so it so far has worked pretty good. The only thing is that it is a little bit clumpy for my lashes personally, so what I tend to do is just, once you take it out, I just kind of like brush it off on the tube so that it's not too much product coming off onto my eyelashes. And I do that honestly with a lot of my mascaras that I get, like I used to have, I still do have the Lash Paradise by L'Oreal, that's kind of supposed to be like a dupe for Too Faced, so even with that I'll just brush off the sides of the mascara just to get less product on my lashes. Overall, really really like this mascara, I'm definitely going to be buying the full size when this one runs out, and I recommend it to you guys as well. If you have thin lashes or thick lashes, I think this will work really well for your lashes. Next, I wanna talk about this little Sephora lipstick, and this is from the Lip Stories collection that they released, I think, I don't really remember. I wanna say it was in January, but I'm not 100% positive, don't quote me. This is from the Lip Stories collection, and this is in the color... Made in Italy? No, I lied to you. This, that's not the color. So this lipstick is in the color Yum Yum. The packaging is so cute for all of their little lip stories. Let me show you. It's just so, so cute. Like it has little cookies on it and it's just, you know, Yum Yum. So I got this color and this is like a brown color, like a brown red, like a brick red brown. I'll just swatch it for you so you can see. And it's just like a really pretty brown. Can you see that? It's a really pretty brown color. Um, I don't know, it looks really cool on, I think, and you can either build it up, like make it super, super brown and super, super pigmented, or you can just put a little bit on and it gives you like a little bit of a brown t 
tint. It's a really good product. I've used it quite a few times and I've done it really buildable or I've done a tiny sheerish layer and it looks beautiful either way. So I'm a fan. Lastly, um, for makeup, it's not really a makeup product. Ooh, I feel like I look a little bit naked. Let's bring it back. This product is um, a makeup product, I would say, but it's also kind of skincare. And this is one of the Vaseline Rosy Lips Lip Therapy um, tubs. And I was talking about these in one of my videos. I can't remember exactly which one, but I love this one specifically. They have a few other different um, flavors, if you will. And I had the cocoa butter one, which is my friend's favorite, and it works really good for her. I tried it and it does not work. My lips just don't. I don't know why because it's the same thing it's just a different flavor but yeah this one is the only one that works for me the pink one um, for rosy lips and I like this one because it also gives like a little bit of a pinkish tint to your lips so I really am a fan of this and it works really really well because I get super chapped lips all the time and this is seeming to be the best product for my chapped lips that I've ever tried okay and this isn't a skincare product or a makeup product it's kind of in between so I'm going to transition to skincare with this. This is castor oil. So I was talking about this in my skincare video as well. And these are the little tubes that I purchased just off Amazon. Um, this one is kind of like a um, one that I use for my eyelashes. It's like a little tiny brush and I just kind of put that on my eyelashes and the roots. And then um, this one is like a mascara wand. And this one I brush through my brows. I put this on almost every single night. I try to do it every night, but sometimes I'm too lazy or sometimes I forget, but most nights I do use this. For my eyebrows, I've noticed the most difference. Um, this one used to be my good brow, and I feel like this one's slowly becoming my not good brow, <laughs> um, because this one is a little bit lower than this one. I don't know if you can tell, I can tell. So this one I'm trying to like work on getting more hair a little bit higher above, since it's a little lower than this one. So I'm trying to level them out, and it's kind of starting to work actually on this one. There are hair, there is hair growing. Um, it's just going to take a long time because it's like, it's, I don't even know if it's going to work, but I'm going to keep trying it. This one used to have a, um, like, what, like, I don't know how to explain that. It used to not have any hair. Like it was kind of like patchy on this part of my brow. And now, um, it actually has filled itself in really well. So I don't even have to really fill it in anymore. I just use the brow, the boy brow from Glossier and I just kind of, fill it a tiny bit because it's still a little sparse and there's not enough hair there yet to the point where I won't have to fill it in, but it definitely has helped a ton. So castor oil, big yes for growing my eyebrows, eyelashes, I'm not so sure. Haven't really noticed too much of a difference, but I'm gonna keep using it and I'll keep you guys updated. Okay, going into skincare now. Um, I have also talked about this in my skincare video. I really didn't mean to make this like a repeat of my skincare video. Um, or like a repeat of Glossier products, but honestly, these are just products that I've been loving this month of February and a little bit before then too. This is the Simple Micellar Cleansing Water, and this honestly has replaced makeup remover wipes for me. I'm not so sure if I will keep buying makeup remover wipes. I think I'm going to use this until it runs out and then see how I feel. Um, and maybe I'll switch back to makeup remover wipes just to test it, but I have really been loving the results of using this with like a little cotton round and just getting off all my makeup and excess dirt. And it's been amazing at doing that and I just so far have been loving it. But honestly, it just, it feels really clean and it feels way less harsh on my skin than using a makeup remover wipe. Because with makeup remover wipes, I feel like I'm really, really rubbing it to get it off. With this, I feel like I'm just putting it on a cotton round and just kind of gliding it on my face and I feel like it just comes off a lot easier with this. Next is something that I have mentioned also in my skincare video. This is my Kiehl's Rare Earth Deep Pore Daily Cleanser, and this is just really, really good for my skin. I won't talk too much about it because I did mention it in my video, but this is just a gentle exfoliator, and it works really, really well. I have this in the shower right now, and I just use it after I work out. I come home, rinse off, and wash my face with this in the shower, and it's just super easy, and it's super quick. And it smells really nice in my opinion and it works really well for your skin and it just gently exfoliates and it's great next is something that i actually bought i think either in january or late late december um this is the spa of the world the body shop moroccan razul body clay i probably said that completely wrong but this is a firming clay body mask um the lady that was helping me <laughs> She's the manager of the body shop and she of that location and she's just so knowledgeable and she knows what she's talking about and she's the one who talked me into buying that sorbet that I showed you guys in one of my videos and 
Um, she also had me buy this, and this is like a cellulite cream, um, cellulite mask, sorry. And I have used this, I would say, maybe five times since I bought it. And honestly, I think that it works pretty good. Um, my cellulite's not completely gone. If you use this with working out and eating better, I feel like it works the best. I'm also looking into trying um, dry, dry, dry brushing. Um, because I've heard that that's a good thing to like help circulation um, to sort of get rid of the cellulite. So I think I'm going to try this in combination with dry brushing. Um, let me know what you guys have heard about dry brushing or if you've tried it and it actually works because I'm looking to get one. Either way, I really do like this mask. It hasn't made it go away, um, but at the same time I haven't used it enough to really test it for real. It doesn't say how often to use it. Um, but since it's a mask, I would guess it's like any other face mask. You can probably use it every other day if you wanted to. I have only used it maybe once every two weeks, so I think that that's probably why I'm not seeing the results that I want to see. Um, so maybe I should start trying this in March and using it more religiously and then let you guys know what I think. But this is good so far. And um, next, I wanted to talk about coconut oil. So this is a huge tub of coconut oil. My friend's mom actually makes these little like coconut oil concoctions where she puts a bunch of different essential oils in it and everything. And she always gives me and my friend um, some tubs. So I've had this tub for a while and I have used quite a bit of it. I use this as a moisturizer. So instead of using like a moisturizer or a lotion for my body, I'll put this on and this actually works really really well with my skin um, the only thing is that it's an oil so it is really really oily um, so I only put this on at night I actually hate 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 putting on lotion or any sort of moisturizer during the day because I hate to wear clothes with moisturizer or coconut oil or any sort of oil because um, I hate the feeling of clothes on my skin with oil or lotion. I hate it. I only use this at night, so before I go to bed, I'll put this on, put my pajamas on, and then I will just kind of, you know, marinate in my sleep. I feel like I also get a really nice glow to my skin from this, and I feel like even though I'm really, really pale right now, usually when I use coconut oil, I feel like my, like, the glow on my skin also is a little bit of a glowy, bronzy look. Um, like I said, I'm really pale right now, but um, on my legs especially, like if I put coconut oil on my legs after shaving, it's just, it's the best. Coconut oil, I also do put on sometimes during the day, like if I know that I'm going to just be chilling at home and I'm not going to have to wear pants, <laughs> usually I will put on coconut oil during the day as well because I think when I'm sleeping, it tends to kind of slide off a little bit more. So I use coconut oil during the night and it works pretty good. So I like this. Lastly is actually a hair care product. Um, this is something that I got a way long time ago and I just didn't use it. And the lady that did my haircut gave me a um, little sample of this Moroccan oil, Moroccan, wait, Moroccan oil treatment for all hair types. What I do is I just like put it on my palm like this, hold it upside down, kind of like let it go a little bit so it gets a little bit on there. And then I rub between my fingers and my hands and I just flip my whole head over and then I kind of like scrunch it into my hair on the ends and then I kind of go a little bit like smooth it through my hair all around. Um, I usually don't use this every single day because some days my hair looks a little bit um, straighty. If it's looking really, really dry or the ends are looking really bad, then I will put some of this in and it really does help. And it actually smells so good. This is like, whew, let me open it because it smells so good. It's so, yes. This is only about halfway gone and this is a sample. I got this for free. So I'm completely happy with it. And I think that when I do run out, I will actually buy more um, myself because it smells so good and it's just really good for your hair and it moisturizes it and it locks in the moisture. It's just, it's great. So that's the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys got some sort of tips or something that maybe you want to try for the month of March. Let me know if you guys have other February favorites that you discovered in this month that you think are worth sharing with everybody else to experience for themselves. I hope you stay tuned for the next few videos coming up. I will be posting some new cool videos hopefully really, really soon. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye.